Hi, welcome back to the Elite Automation YouTube channel. Let you do that one. You do that one. Hi guys, welcome to the Elite Automation YouTube channel. And all we're gonna do today is Lena Matsumira. And this my name is Emma Lynn, Sue Grab, and then this is Dad. How's it going? I'm Malachi Grip, CEO and engineer of Elite Automation, Emma's daddy. Uh No, I'm not daddy. Huh? I'm Emma Lynn Sue Grab. I said I said I'm Emma's daddy. And they say Emma's daddy. Oh, okay. Today we're going to show you guys uh, quickly how to go to different positions in your map. So after you've taught positions, maybe you want to go to that position. Let's go ahead and just show them how to do that real quick. So we're going to stop the current program that we're running right now. I want you to click on one of those robot positions. Mm, this. Click on it. This one. Go to. Go to. Yep. Go to. Clear and Q. Yep. Top red one. All right, so now our robot is going to P4, position four, pending. Oh, you gotta hit the play button. It's actually not going there yet. Hit the play button. Boop. Could you? Yeah. All right, now, now we're going to that uh, current position, or that commanded p position, I should say. Go ahead and click into the position one more time. This? To the position. Well, yeah, you can click into a different position. It's fine. Okay, let's do this one. Okay. So, uh, I just wanna show you a couple things here real quick. I uh, wasn't going to have you go to. Click on the position itself again. Okay. Uh, well, the thing, a couple things that I want to show you guys is you can move the selected position, which if you, yeah, hover over it. So move selected position. This uh, is basically give you the ability to drag and, and move that position again, or click and move that position again, then edit. It's going to give you the ability to actually come in here, change the name of the position, uh, the robot's orientation of that position, the type of position that it is. So you can put positions inside of different categories if you want. But then the main thing that you're gonna use right here is your coordinate system. So you can adjust the position. So if you need to go over like a, you know, a few inches or something like that, uh, and you know, the, either the X or the Y direction, then you're able to do so right here. Also, uh, if the orientation is not right, maybe you wanted the back of the robot facing uh, and not the front of the, the robot, you could, uh, Put in that offset to change the orientation of the robot as well hopefully hopefully that was a, a good quick little video we have a few more of these mirror amr videos so make sure you hit that subscribe button check those out also fanic plc and everything industrial automation related that's it that's it that's it catch y'all in the next one wait, wait, wait give us a huge thumbs up <laughs> bye